Welcome back to Shelly and May, where you know when we're on. It's poppin'. We're on our final day of quarantine, day 14. <sighs> that really means anything. Doesn't mean anything, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say because we're still gonna be doing this. Quarantine? For, yeah, we're still gonna be quarantined for a long time. Today we thought we'd bring you something a little bit different. We asked you guys on our Instagram to give us your assumptions about us, basically. <laughs> and we got some interesting ones. We got some pretty good ones. So we are, I'm looking forward to answering them because it's mm -hmm. nice to actually know what people really think of you. Mm -hmm. And shout out to you guys who actually did answer with proper assumptions because mm -hmm. it really does help us do our videos. If you guys are answering those things that we post on Instagram, that means that you're actually interested, which is great for us to know, obviously. When you give us real content that we can use, we really, really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Thank you to all who participated. Mm -hmm. We love you. We love you even if you didn't it's all good before we get into it guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell if you're nasty and don't forget to tell your besties <laughs> you already know it's coming so just do it guys please help us get to 1,000 subscribers you guys help us hit that subscribe button guys you know it takes like 0.3 seconds and and it's free I mean and it supports Shelly and May like we're not asking much yeah go so the first assumption is Nay was shy at first. Nay was shy at first. <laughs> um, I had some shy <laughs> moments, but I wouldn't say I was super shy. Like when I first met Shelly, okay, in the very, very beginning, I was a little bit shy. Mm -hmm. um, I remember it was like, like when we really got to hang out for the first time, um, it was for my birthday, like three years ago or something. You were not shy on your birthday. I don't, okay, I feel like I wasn't like giving her a lot of attention. Like it was me, Shelly, and like three or four other people. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like I was paying attention to everyone else and I was trying not to pay attention to her only because I didn't want to seem like, I don't know, I guess like I was, I don't even know, like super into She wouldn't anything. look at me, that's her thing. She had a nervous habit that she wouldn't make eye contact with me, so I was like, okay, she thinks I'm weird, like whatever. But on your birthday, like her, like the first time we actually like hung out, hung out, you were trying to back that thing up on me. Yeah, I was. She it. was, she was. Guys, there's should... witnesses and they will comment down below. They'll comment down below and say, I wasn't backing no thing up on you. She was trying okay, to back up on me and I was backing away and then she did stop. But guys, when you go to a club with your friends, you're gonna turn up with your friends. And I wasn't necessarily she wasn't backing, backing that thing, thing up on anybody else. You're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very hard question to answer, but very good question. So thank you, whoever asked that, thank you. Yeah. All right guys, next assumption. Y'all are gay. <laughs> You know what's funny? Some people who are watching are probably gonna be like, duh, but it's actually a valid question. It's a valid question. We're not, we don't. <laughs> First of all, Shelly and I are people who do not care or enjoy labels necessarily. It's not about being gay, it's about being yourself. Mm -hmm. And we are ourselves and the people we are is loving one another. Mm -hmm. We don't, we're not like, oh my God, like I'm with you because I'm gay. That's nothing to do with <laughs> being that. I don't even yeah. identify, I, I've never identified as gay ever. I, I, as anything. I, yeah, yeah, neither of us have. Yeah. She's always identified as Michelle. I've always identified as Natalie mm -hmm. and we're just who we are and we're just, we happen to be two females. Like, mm -hmm. it's people who don't think like us, they won't understand and they'll probably be like, oh, like, no, that's wrong or that's this or this, that, blah, 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 but like, we really don't care. It's just because we don't assume, okay, if we see a same-sex couple or like, Whatever, any couple that's together, no matter what they look like or what they are or what they choose to be, we don't just assume that, oh yeah, they're this or they're that. Like, okay, cool. Like, what, you guys are together, you guys are together. If you guys have your things where, oh, I identify as this, I identify as that, this is my preferred pronouns, those, all those things, like, we respect all of that. We just yeah. don't, we're not... We just don't do that. We just, we're just ourselves. Exactly. If you could just call us Shelly and Nate, that'd be great. As much as it's hurtful to assume someone is not something, it's also hurtful to assume they are something, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. So, you know, just because you see two families, like we just don't like any labels of any kind. Mm -hmm. We just like to be Shelly and Nate and mm -hmm. we love each other and that's pretty much it. That doesn't have to be down to being called something and you know mm -hmm. if you feel like you have to identify something you don't and don't make anyone feel like you have to because that's annoying mm -hmm. so yeah yeah my angel yeah great question excellent question mm -hmm. because 
No, it is an excellent question. I was annoyed when I saw it at first, but yes, it is an excellent question. Yeah, it is. It's, it's an assumption. Sorry, it's yeah. a great assumption yes. because that's incorrect. You yeah, know what I mean, come correct. Yeah, because like if you look at the definition of the word, we're not that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So mm -hmm. it's just like whatever. But we don't care. Like it's just like if you identify as that, excellent. Good for you. If you don't, excellent. If you want to call us that or assume we're that, excellent. Like we don't care. Like at the end of the day, we're going to do what we want to do. And you guys are going to say what you want to say or think yeah. what you want to think. So I just hope that everybody can train themselves to have that mindset of who cares. I'm just going to be me, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that, and yeah. that's it. Let people go on, that's all. That's oh, all you gotta do. okay. That's done. You know what I mean? That's it. The next assumption is Shelly made the first move. I did not. <laughs> I didn't do anything. But did I? You called me, remember? I called. I feel like making a move doesn't mean that it's Does, physical. Yeah, no, she, it doesn't always mean physical. She called me one day and she was just like, I have feelings for you, so do you have anything that you want to tell me? <laughs> wow, extra. Again, that's long story short, but, yeah, but those, pretty much those the words truth. were said. <laughs> they were. Yeah, and I loved it. I was just like, yeah! <laughs> Yeah, my boo thing loves me. Duh. You know what? Fine, I made the first move, but she was feeling it in her soul Duh. Just from time. Duh. Story for another time. Anyway, <laughs> next assumption. You guys never fight or have big arguments. Whoa. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we 100% have arguments. Do we fight? No, no, we I don't. don't think so. And Shelly. and even the arguments, like they're very rare. And I know it's like, oh, that's not healthy, but like it is healthy. And we talk about it all the time. We're like, should we be fighting more often? And it's like, but just whatever happens, happens, right? It's because if you are fine with the other person, then there's no need to. I think in the beginning, there was a lot of outside factors. Yeah. That we got into. We weren't like we weren't fighting, but we were. Uh, angry a lot. And the thing with Shelly and I guys that you have to know is that we just tell each other everything. We're exactly. very honest with each other so there's rarely an opportunity for us to argue. We're yeah. just very very real with each other. Yeah. Pretty much the same person almost anyways. Mm -hmm. As much as people might think that gets boring that's actually ton up because that means you're always <laughs> enjoying and living life and you don't have to like worry about not doing things that you enjoy doing or yeah, etc etc. Et so. It's true. Yeah. Next one is you assume that all we want to do is go on trips. <laughs> yes. Yes. Your assumption is absolutely correct. Correct, Amando. <laughs> if you guys watched our previous videos, we did have a trip booked. And two more this year. So oh. pray for us that we get to at least go on the next two because the thing with us, we like to book ahead because we like to have things to look forward to. Absolutely. We work very hard for it. Absolutely. So nothing wrong with that. We deserve that. and y'all deserve too. And yeah. so now with this whole thing going on this year, we're like, wow, the one year that we booked three trips in one Almost year. Almost a year in advance. Because the following year. year, like next year, we were planning to not go on any at all because we had different plans. But anyways. We'll see how it goes because yeah. <laughs> universe for spelling, us. Yeah, that everything, you know, most importantly, we really just want everyone to get right and get healthy. That mm -hmm. is number one. For um, sure, for sure. Safety first, health first, but yeah, yeah. But you know, those trips can happen. Next assumption, what do we got here? Nay is the protective one. <laughs> I would say yes. I would say your assumption is correct. I think we're both protective. Yeah, but, yeah, I wouldn't say neither of us aren't, but I'm definitely protective of, you know, my family, my wife, what we share between us, and definitely just her in general. Like, I don't, like, if I feel like anyone's, like, attacking her <laughs> or saying something that's just out of line or she's being treated, like, And it doesn't matter who it is. It could be one so, of our moms. Yeah, <laughs> like, if it's a family member, I'm like, girl, like, do we need to have this conversation, yeah. you know? But it's just like, you know what? And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like I know Shelly can find for herself, it's not that. It's just that, that's your boo thing. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's my boo thing. And mm -hmm. like nothing can touch her, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So whatever y'all do in your own relationships is beautiful and that's totally fine. But I do always think there should be that protective piece. Sorry, I feel like I'm giving relationship advice. I'm not trying to. No, it's okay. I'm definitely hella protective and nothing shall come into the Shelly bubble or I will do bad things. <laughs> Next one is Shelly is low key the sensitive one slash can be mean. 
Like that's a good mm -hmm. one. Okay, let me sensitive. Think. Yeah. Oh she. Hey hey, let sorry, me answer sorry. my assumption. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> then you go no, go. go. <laughs> no, I definitely am sensitive in my own way. We both are sensitive. I think we're sensitive about different things. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm mean because the way I define mean or sorry can be mean. Mean is like you say something bad or you put somebody down or you make fun of somebody. Mm -hmm. Again, that mm -hmm. person maybe has their own um, definition of mean. The camera's dying. But I'll say I can get rude. That's a different definition for me. Like I can definitely yeah. get rude, but if they're talking about with her, no. But with other people, trust me. I can control myself to a certain extent, but there's certain triggers that I have and it's just like, okay, you just opened the Shelly's gonna be rude now. Yeah, that's fair. By no mm -hmm. means is Shelly like someone who's gonna bully someone or be mm -hmm. mean or pick on them. Like, if, if y'all mean like that type of mean, no, 100%. Mm -hmm. I've but. never been. But it's funny because people have assumed that about me before. Like, people thought I was like rude. Before they got to know me and they're just like, oh my God, Even like, you know. Me, I can say that when I was like, when I first I don't met know why you, though. I was like, I, I didn't necessarily think mean, but I just thought she was like too cool. Like I was way out of her league. Oh my kind of god! Thing. I, was, like, I could never be friends with her because she's too cool. I'm literally a loser, guys. Like no. I'm just like I'm just like a nerd. Like I've never been a cool person. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just weird. Aww. Like I just, I think I'm so weird. So when people tell me that, I'm just like, wait, what? But why do you think that? Like I don't even think you just have that look. I think yeah. You know? But if I get bad, so don't play around. So of course the camera died. Geneva. The usual. <sighs> Always when we're getting into it. But anyway, think of it. She's charged 100%, so we're gonna continue. <laughs> so, our next assumption about us that you know the pranks are happening. My thing is it's it's fair, like we said, ask away, ask anything, but it does annoy us to read because we are the ones who we've seen fake pranks. And I don't know if that's exactly what they're saying because they said you know the pranks are happening so it could be something different but we don't like that so we've told each other even if we fail let's just keep the pranks real like obviously it's a discussion when you do YouTube it's a discussion and we've even been told why don't you guys just fake your pranks so you can do pranks every day no like that's not that's not us that's not our personalities so Agreed. The yeah. thing with us is that we always wanted to be a very authentic channel, no matter what that meant. Any pranks that we've done, especially as of now being in quarantine, it's it's been very challenging to do and that's why I feel like we don't even do them often because like it'll yeah. literally have to be at a time where I know Shelly's busy doing something and I have like two seconds. Or we're in or a bad I'm... mood. Like I feel like anytime, because when a person's in a bad mood, it's already thrown off from there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like you're taking a risk and it's like... Probably a bad idea, but it's, they're not gonna be thinking I'm gonna prank them right now, so it's like, let's just do it. There are things where it's obvious, like when I locked you out of the car, you knew I was doing something stupid yeah, because I'm, I'm filming you, so obviously she's like, why is she doing that? She's being stupid, and yeah. like, she's upset because that is a prank, but obviously she knows what I'm doing in the moment. Yeah, like if for that one, for instance, like obviously we were vlogging that day, I could see her filming me, like Shelly said, but it wasn't like, I have no idea that you're pranking. That wasn't even really a prank. That was it's just more mm -hmm. of a joke. Yes, it's a prank, but it's mm -hmm. more of a joke. And some of our pranks have been just jokes where like, even when she did Rosa, like, I saw the camera. It's not like I didn't see the yeah. camera. I was just like genuinely confused. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing this mm -hmm. one? And to be honest, there are, there are sh we do in our own house where I'll be like, babe, look, what are you Literally doing Literally 24 right now? seven, she'll be doing something and I'll just do some stupid dance and wait for her to look at me and react. And then she's like, oh my God. That's our so, life. So, <laughs> it's nothing new. Yeah, so if, if that's what that assumption meant, that you know the pranks are happening, we really don't mm -hmm. know that any pranks are also, happening. Also, we've posted pranks that was a fail anyways, so. Yeah, so like even if we've known that they were a prank, like even the one where Shelly was supposed to be drunk driving or whatever. Yeah. She caught um, the camera. I caught the camera and you or know, when you ruined my laptop. Yeah, like I was like, you know what I mean? Are you joking? Anyways, I'm not trying to defend it because you know when you talk about stuff people are gonna think like, oh well, we're you're defending it so hard. hard. So it doesn't even matter. We're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. Whatever y'all think, you guys are gonna think it doesn't even matter. Like that's what we keep talking about. We don't like to over explain stuff because you guys are gonna think what you're gonna think and it doesn't matter. Even if all, every single one of our pranks are fake, even if we're the fakest people on earth, you guys are gonna still think what you're gonna think. Yeah. We're the realest people on earth. Our pranks are real. You're gonna think what you're gonna think. So it doesn't matter. But yeah. that's our, we said, 
send it to your assumption, so mm -hmm. that's our response to that assumption. Yeah, and it's a fine assumption to make. Thank yeah. you so much. Especially when there are a lot of YouTubers that do fake their pranks. It, it's obvious. So. That really doesn't bother me. And I feel like if so. we faked our pranks or if we knew the pranks were happening, whatever, I just feel like it wouldn't come out good. But I could be yeah. wrong. But I wouldn't know because... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what to say. I'm just gonna think what they're gonna think anyway. Probably, so oh, no. live life. Okay, this next one's not an assumption, but it's still a pretty good question. The person said, Can I first ask where did y'all get kids from? <laughs> that is an A question. I guess. I feel like the kids is extra, and I kind of just always. Said it even when before we met, like that's something you always said is Kez. Mm -hmm. Your family all knows that you always yeah, say Kez. Kez. Yeah. yeah. When she's gonna go visit her family, she'll say, We're gonna go visit the kids. Like that's just something yeah, she's always said. Yeah, I even, yeah. Honestly, guys, it, it scales so far back that it almost like it's just part of me now. But I feel like anytime I'm like, Oh, yeah, like we're gonna go see the kids, we're gonna go do this with the kids. Oh, like the kids, like even if I'm talking to myself, I'll be like, oh, like the kids, or like, like kind of like anyone, really. Mm -hmm. It's um, funny because everybody is probably random, like where would they get that from? But it's just anybody who knows her knows that that's just what she says. And she'll yeah. call everybody that. So I said, why don't we just transfer it to our YouTube? But because we gotta call you guys something. Can't just call you the viewers. Like, yeah, that's no. not personal. <laughs> exactly. Y'all are part of the family. You're the cat. So the question is, Nate is half. Canadian Canadian like from Newfoundland slash Nova Scotia <laughs> That's pretty funny actually. Yeah, and it's interesting. I'm definitely far from it. I'm half Trini so half Trinidadian and half Armenian. You're I mean, wrong. <laughs> yeah, hella wrong. Final assumption. It's a two-parter I guess <laughs> It says Michelle's the cook and Nay's the cleaner and then our pal said no, I switch it Nay cooks and Michelle cleans. You wrong. <laughs> Michelle's the cook. Actually, that's right. I am the cook. I'm the chef. But I also cook. She can cook, like, but I'm the cook. I'm the cook. <laughs> She's the baker. And that's how we do it. Yeah. In terms of cleaning, we split it. Nay likes to do the dishes and the laundry. And I do all of that. Like she normally, like she will, but I'd actually be like, babe, no, don't touch the dishes. Like I like to do that. She likes to do it. And the laundry. Yeah. And then I do the deep cleaning stuff. So that was it for your assumptions about us. Thank you all so much for your assumptions and participating. If you made it to the end of this gorgeous video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell if you nasty. And don't forget to tell your besties, of course, guys. <laughs> you already know what it is. Later, kids.